Hi everybody, Martin the Flicking Fellas again today, and I'm doing sort of Whitlock style foam spider. It's just a sort of jazzed up foam spider, really. It's nothing spectacular, but I'm tying it on a size six. So this is like a sort of a size I'd be quite happy using for smallmouth bass. Although you'll still catch like bluegills and all that on it. Um, I'm using a B10S, good hook. And I'm running on, this is just some uni, black uni in 6 hole. Got a nice wee base of thread on. This will help the, <coughs> the body to stick, the glue to grip. And I've got a, just a soft, this is a number 4 bug body. Which is a spider body, and I like to have a wee sort of look at it. Mark, just with my thumbnail. Then I'm going to take my double edge razor and right in the middle, I'm going to make a wee slit. Right, I'm just going to come in. Slice in there. Right, I mean, I've always got a double edge razor on my blade on my desk anyway. If you don't have this, you can use like a box cutter or something. Um, well, these are really handy. They're, they're cheap and they're a really good thing to have in your your desk. Let's see how that looks. That's no bad there. I would say. Right, I want the front of the body just at the eye. Just look really up against the the back. Oops. Really up against the back of the eye when that slits doing like that, right? And then what I'm going to do is get a bit of glue just in this back section. And I'll park my thread where I'm hoping the first tie off is going to be. Right. Well, I know it's got to be right in line with the point of the hook. Right. And then I'll open this slice. And I'll put that down like that. And then first wrap, no too tight. And then another. Just tighten it as you go. And you'll end up with this distinct band. Now it'll still kind of try to move on you, but don't worry. And then just once you're as tight as you can get it, bang a few more wraps in just to give the distinct band, lift it up. And you'll see there'll be some loose bits of thread. Catch them with your thumbnail. That's your earlier wraps that weren't fully tight. And you just press them in against the shank and tie over them. Where your, your thumbnail catches a loose one and drives the thread over it. It tightens it up a wee bit. Because you don't need to worry about it cutting anymore. And then come forward again. If you need to, get your other fly if you've got one. Measure up. I was at the right bit anyway, but. And then I'm going to do the same again with the glue. Get the glue on. Now hold that open. Push it on. And then it's just the same, gradually tightening wraps and then bang a few in to tighten everything up, create your wee band, catch the loose ends, 
and I'm taking this thread, the wrap's coming up, the thread's passing down my thumbnail and onto the hook shank and that's trapping those extra thread wraps. And when I get to the front I'm not going to bother with the glue because it's no you can't really push it down onto the hooks, I'm just going to catch it in with the thread. Sometimes this can be a wee bit tricky, but you'll get there. Once it starts gripping, there you go. Just secure it. And when you tie it in, it gives you a slightly flatter side, um, which is useful for when you stick the eyes on. Now at this stage, I can whip finish. Right. Now if you want to use the tool or whip finish by hand, that's entirely up to you. You'll see in my videos I do both, it doesn't make any difference. Two, two whip finishes. to take my leg puller. I've got a video on how to make these. And I'll just push it through this centre segment near the back of it. And I'm going to take um, a centipede leg. This is yellow and black I'm using. Choice, colour choice is up to you. When you're onto the nylon, that's when I like to put the leg in. Then you can pull it through. Now I'll just move my tool away, snip that leg. It's obviously much shorter on this side, so I'll put it in. A wee bit longer now on the far side, so I can just put a dab. Of, I'm just going to use head cement. Head cement's enough, and it won't. It will only attack the leg. If you use super glue, it damages the leg a wee bit. Get it and get them to the a wee bit too far. They're not bad. No. I'll just trim them the row, make sure they're about the same length. There's plenty. And then I'm going to take another pair, another set of legs through near the front of this segment. I mean these sponge bodies, the the pin goes through no bother, the needle I should say. Exactly the same. Get the legs in the loop, hold the ends, put them in. Now the longer still on this side, so do it from here. Just wipe away any excess. And then I'll just do it. trim and then and then trim on this side as well and then that's my legs nice and even. No as a, a sighter, you just need another bit of foam, 
It can be a wee circle, it can be a wee square, doesn't matter. Move this orange bit so I can see it nice and clearly. I mean, with these being all black, they can be a bit difficult to see in some light conditions. But, I mean, the size of them, they're not that hard. You know, you don't necessarily need a, a sighter. There's highly visible fly and when you you know you twitch them you get the the you'll see the movement a bit long there we go right, the fish don't see that but you see it if you need it but as I say only in some light conditions you'll struggle. Um, most of the time you can see them really clearly. Obviously if you use a different coloured body, they're even more video uh, visible. Then the last thing is just these eyes. It's, it's uh, doll's eyes, these are 3mm I'm using. Smallest size, yellow. And I'm not usually a big fan of doll's eyes, um, but they do add a wee bit of noise to the fly. So, spot a glue, put it on the foam, knowing the eye, because these wee eyes will just, you'll end up sticking to everything. Press it in. And we'll do this side. It's a quick lock style, foam spider, the eyes add a wee bit of rattle, you've got the same leg vibration as usual on a foam spider, and as I say, the, the wee hot spot on top should you need it, although I don't think you will. Now, this is optional, but if you want it to add a bit more durability, you can come along and flood that bottom. With head cement. Just letting it get into all that thread, protect the glue, and then if if you don't like it on the foam, which it doesn't really bother me, but wipe away the excess. We'll come over the eye. Scrap or something to clear that out because I've got a wire. Clean the eye, and then the fly is good to go. So, I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Pet lines, guys. Bye.